So the host and the owner of the castle is going to give a little cooking lesson on Italian food. And Linda's agreed to watch and learn, as well as one of our other guests. And this is Rita, the owner. She's going over the ingredients. The olive oil is from her trees. There's a bunch of olive oil, olive trees outside. We saw them. Oh, you'll show me. Okay. okay. Black sugar. It's peaches with pasta. Okay, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh-huh. Brown sugar. How peach peach peach. Well, um, the peaches were grown here on the castle. This is Rita. Eight, eight tablespoons? Eight, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. The tomatoes. Look at how deep red they are. Linda. Lots of garlic. It's enough? It's more. It's more. A lot, a lot more. Okay. This is the owner's suite in the castle, Rita. She's giving a cooking class tonight. She's widowed. Her husband died about three years ago. There are four suites, or four apartments, if you will, within the castle. She has a, someone that helps her keep the grounds and someone that turns over the rooms for people. They don't really advertise or use a travel agent, but they stay full about 40 to 45 weeks out of the year from just word of mouth, people coming here and staying. It is a really cool place. And I guess there's probably lots of castles in Italy like this. It's obviously been remodeled many, many times to become what it is today. Look the view out one of our windows. Are you cooking, baby? Yeah. Uh, she doesn't serve this all. No. My sister John and eggs and cheese together. Right. Okay, so it's almost time to eat. She said that I have seen so much of Italy in a compressor. Cooking Italian style. 